Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. It's Sci-Fi Saturday and we're playing Invasion from Outer Space. And we're going to be playing the scenario Unleashed. As you can see, we have a crashed spaceship and a Zard monster in the center of the board. Well, let's see what that's about. Well, this Unleashed scenario is 15 turns and the heroes get to each start with uh, one hero card, which I've given them. Okay, it says place the crash saucer marker and the Zard Beast in the center of the fairgrounds board. This is a super Zard Beast that has crashed a saucer and gotten loose to Rampage Unleashed. Heroes do all right, we, well, we, we got everybody's in our start position. The super Zard Beast is the same as a normal Zard Beast except that it has five health boxes and cannot be wounded in any way until you find its weakness. The normal Zard Beast may not be called or healed this game. Okay. The Super Zard Beast weakness is one of three possible elements, fire, water, or cabbage. The heroes must find these elements and try to see which of them is the correct weakness. At the end of a hero's move, if they have one of these elements that has not been tried yet, <clears throat> or they are, <clears throat> and they are in the same space, roll a d6 to see if that element is the weakness. If it's the first element tried on a roll of 5-6, it's the weakness. If it's the second, 4-5-6 is the weakness, and if it's the third, it's automatically the weakness. As long as a hero with the correct weakness is in the Super Zard B space, it may be wounded. It still may roll to prevent the wounds as normal. The heroes win by finding the Super Zard B's weakness and killing it. The Martians win by preventing this or by killing three heroes. So, it's going to be a little, a little tough for the heroes, I think, in this game. Because he can still run around and hurt people, and all the Martians got to do is just basically hurt people. Kill the guys. So we have Archibald, and you know, once per fight, he may reroll on his fight dice. Uh, may use a power token on a space, cannon space, to fire himself. We've seen that before. Now, they, I drew each hero a card, and I got crap cards. So, place on any hero. Ignore all card restrictions that hero has based on their special rules. This card is a card to force a Martian pack to reroll any number of their fight dice. Cassidy, <clears throat> we got to get her her bracer of pistols. But she also has this uh, play when a hero is about to prevent the wound. We have Hannah. Always counts as having lights out. May use a power token to make a ranged attack. And, um, but uh, may discard kerosene or gasoline to get three power tokens. And she has overkill. Play when a hero does a wound to a Martian and immediately do one additional wound. And then we have her, Lucreza, the human pretzel, may move diagonally through doors. Give up a move action to heal. May use a power token to force an opponent to reroll one of their fight dice. And then she has played the start of hero turn to cancel any Martian event card that is marked remains in play. Or to cancel a Martian attack card on a roll of 4+. plus. So, there we go. We got the Zard Beast. Find those bracers of pistols here. Okay. So, uh, the, you know the heroes will probably spend the first few turns just searching, but it is the Martians turn We start with them and let's put the invasion marker on the board. So at 15 uh, Draw a new Martian card. So I'm going to draw two cards let's See what I got. Well, let's see play at the start of a hero turn Play at the start of a hero turn Two the same card. That's great Roll for reinforcements uh, note we're tied. We have eight on the board, so that's no more. Command phase. We'll grab two tokens here. And we'll just bank these real quick for a second. And then we have move Martians. So we'll move him one. These guys one. Uh, they'll move one. Uh, these guys will move one. And I guess the Zard Beast will move this way one oh shoot man I like the thing off the board two <laughs> or two all right so we have no ray guns <clears throat> and no fights <clears throat> so and no reinforcements so that's the end of the turn let's see here all right so it's the hero's turn and let's see what Archibald's going to do. Archibald's going to be in a world of hurt next turn, to be honest with you. So, let's roll for a power token on him. 
He doesn't get it. And let's roll for his movement. Ah, oh, shoot. He rolled a one. Well, that's not going to do very well. Uh, might as well just move him one space out. And that's basically all he can do. Cassidy. Um, power token. Okay, she does get a power token. And she's not going to move. She's going to search. Play immediately. Take any card from the hero card's discard pile. Take any scenario search card from the hero deck. Okay, this was a great card. Because now we can do it. Do I want a water, a fire, or a cabbage? Well, let's see here. Let's start at the bottom. Water. All right, we have a water bucket. So... <clears throat> She has a water bucket now, so she can try to do the Zard Beast like that. <clears throat> okay, Hannah is down here. Let's roll for her power token. She gets one, and she's going to search as well. Look at this. I shuffled this deck, so we're, she's going to find an item. So actually, the Martians may be in some serious trouble now. Kerosene. Um, any fire item. Okay, so she found some kerosene. And then this one right here, she's going to roll for power token, doesn't get it, and then she's going to search. Jimmy the Stable Hand. Play at any time to immediately move a Martian pack of crowd up to D3 species in any direction. Uh, or give it and give it to a hero. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> well, that's the end of that turn. So let's go ahead and do our Martian turn. We're at 14 now. Let's draw some new Martian cards. Maybe we get some better ones here. Let's see here. Play. Man, what? I swear. Okay, I can't play those yet. I have to play them at the start of a Martian turn. Roll for reinforcements. Nope. Command phase. Okay, I'll take two. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use two to call forth a Martian pack. And I'll call forth one here. But they won't get to move this turn, so let's remember that. Okay, and then uh, move Martians. Okay, so we got to move one. These guys move one. These guys move one, and these guys move one, and then he's going to move one, two. Okay, so we have a bunch of ray gun fights now that are going to happen, and I guess we'll start with Archibald. Two ray gun fights, and no hits. Alright, then we have Cassidy, nope, Hannah, yes. And we have one hit on Hannah. Can she ignore it? She can. And then this lady, one hit on her, and she can ignore it. So, there we go. And that is the end of the Martian turn, because we don't have any fights. So now it's the hero turn. Let's see what we're gonna do. I gotta get Archibald out of there. Let's roll for his power token. Okay, he does get one. And let's roll for his movement. Okay, that's actually really good. So let's move him one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll move him down here. Or actually one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, actually, let's move him here. Six. Actually, let's move him there. Okay. See, he was one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Alright, now it's uh, Cassidy. Let's roll for her power token. Doesn't get one. And you know what? She's going to keep searching, though. Uh, okay, Defiance. Alright. She will go. Let's roll for her power token. Alright, no. 
and she's not going to move actually because she's going to uh, she's actually going to do a ranged attack with her um, her fireball or should I go ahead and try to move her Yeah, I don't. I don't want to waste any time on that. Let's, let's roll. Three. Okay. One, two, three. She's gonna move there, and then she will try to move. Uh, she doesn't get a power token. She can move six, which is really good. Let's move her one, two, three, four, and she'll stay there, and that'll be it. Okay. Now well, it's the Martian turn. We move that down. Mm -hmm. Let's draw some new cards. Well, hold on. I could play at the start of the Marshall turn. Turn to choose any item that a hero has and discard it. Okay. Accept a scenario search card. Ew. Okay, I have two of these cards. Now, I can't touch the search items. So, let's... Uh, I'm going to try to get rid of Cassidy's pistols. Let's try that. I don't get it. And let me try it out with the other one. Don't get it, so I failed on those, to be honest with you. Okay. <sighs> All right, draw new Martian cards. Teleportation. Okay. Okay, I have to play this at the start of the Martian turn, so we'll put that there. But teleportation, I'm probably going to play this turn. Let's roll for reinforcements. All right, we're going to get reinforcements this turn. No, we're not. No, we're not, because these guys are there. That's right. Um, command phase. All right, I'm going to take two, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three. I'm going to spend three that I have. I'm going to put the Martian leader on the board, and I'm going to have him go there. Okay. <clears throat> um... Let's move Martians now, I guess. All right, he'll move one. Uh, these guys will move one. Uh, let's see. I can move the pack here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, because of the teleportation, so they will move there. These guys will move one. The Zard Beast is going to move one, two, and then we move these guys one. Okay. Do we have any fire ray guns? We do have some fire ray guns. We have some here. So, let's see. Okay, he takes two hits. E. Can he ignore these? He can. All right. Now we're gonna have a fight, and let's let's do a fight. Uh, three and two for him. So we'll roll two for him first. All right. He got three six, two sixes. So it should be yeah. So he destroys <clears throat> actually one of the Martians. All right. Let's go for him again. He got another six. Look at how good he's rolling. All right, it's a tie. And then, again. And we beat another Martian. So Archibald is just popping the hell out of these guys. Okay. Uh, land new Martians, we won't. And then, that is it. All right, so it's the hero's turn. And we'll start with Archibald. Let's roll for power token for him. Five. He gets one. Let's see here. He can move, or I can stay there and fight. And I've been doing such a good job, I'm going to stay there and fight. So that's it for him for now. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and fight. He'll roll two dice. He rolls. Look at that. Look at that. Five and six, and he kills this Martian. So that's Archibald single handedly He beats these guys. Okay, uh, Cassidy will do a power token. Roll. Nope. 
But she'll keep searching. Okay, Hannah. Power token? No. And then roll for movement. Alright, she can move one. Unfortunately, she can't go diagonally like that. So she's stuck there, which is terrible. However, I uh, know she can't even hurt the guy. Alright, so that's fine. And Lucretta, she's going to stay where she's at. Let's roll for a power token for her. She gets one. And let's see if she's going to search and see what she can find. Fire the cannon. All right. Okay, and that's the end of the hero's turn. And so now it is the Martian turn. Let's move this down to 12. All right, Archibald, Archibald, what are you going to do? We'll roll for, well, we're at our max power tokens. Let's just roll for movement. Five. Actually, really good. So I think what I'm going to do with him... So this is going to move him in here. Cassidy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. It's the Martian turn. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right. Uh, two Martian cards here. Let's see what we get. Martian turn on any location. All right, we're going to put a lights out marker on... Well, which one I get to come on now? All right, we're gonna put a lights out marker on this building right here. Actually, that, that would not be beneficial. Let's put a lights out marker on this building where she's at. And I have my two cards. Let me see what I have here. I have some Martian tech here. Okay, so I have some Martian tech. Alright. Roll for reinforcements. No. Command phase. I will take two to my two tokens. Uh, is there anybody three spaces away from that one, two, three? There is actually one, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna try to blast her. I have to spend two my two points for the saucer blast, and we're going to try that. So let's go ahead and try that, and we do the first one here. Every hero automatically takes two ray gun hits. We roll to dodge, so she has a two, and she dodges. Okay, well, but then again, I have my other one. Let's see if she's able to dodge. <clears throat> Yes. So nothing's working out for the Martians. Okay. Uh, command phase did that. Move Martians. We're going to move. Uh, these guys will move. He's going to move here in her space. Move that there. One, two, one. Okay. So let's start with ray guns first. Archibald is not in ray gun range. Cassidy is. No hits. Okay. Hannah is in the Zard Beast range. So he gets three fight dice. And remember, she cannot wound him. So, yeah. Alright, so she's going to roll. Uh, and he's going to roll. And he pops her. Alright, so she took a wound. And then we're going to play just a scratch. We're going to prevent that wound. Okay. And let's see. That is everybody. Now we, and we, that was the fights. And so that is the end of the Martian turn. Okay. And it's now the hero's turn. Archibald. Let's keep getting man moved. Two. Ah, that's not what I wanted. I want to get him inside.
I'm gonna move him here, and we'll just stay there for a minute. Cassidy, uh, power token, yes. Actually, she's in lights out, so we're not gonna move anyways. Does any hero moving into a space ends their move? So she's kind of stuck in there. Uh, you know what? I will move her one. And then she's going to try to shoot those guys. So let's see. Two Martians. Little D6. On a four plus, the Martian is hit. Okay, now I can use one of my power tokens to turn this into a four which I will and we kill these Martians all right Hannah all right so she's in the same space as the guy so what we have to do is we have to roll and if it's we get a five or six then the fire is the weakness and no the fire is not the weakness so we actually use the kerosene item. It is not the weakness. All right, so we're in trouble. We kind of we have to do a strategic retreat next turn if we're still alive. Okay, and then she is going to roll for a power token. Doesn't get one, but she's going to search. And we found a cabbage. Okay, so we found three items. All right, so we know it's not the fire. Is it the water? We don't know, but we're working our way there. And it's now the Martian turn, so we're now turn 11. Let's see, let's draw some new Martian cards. Let's see what we get here. Play immediately. The Martian player chooses a card title from any card the Martian disc and then shuffles copies of the card back into the deck. Okay. Play this card at the start of Martian turn. Okay, I have to play this at the start of the turn, so it's not the start of the turn. Just roll for reinforcements. No. Command phase. Um, what do I want to do? I want to put some Martian reinforcements on the board, actually. Put three. Put them right there. Of course, they won't move this turn. And now we move Martians, and we're going to move one, one, and he's going to move two, one, and that's it. Okay, so what do we have? Archibald is going to get targeted by laser blast. And because I have the Martian leader with him, the handling is a three or higher to hit. Okay, whoa, he got hit th all three times. Let's see if he can uh, ignore any of these. Okay, he ignores all of them. Look at that, it's three fours, he needed a three or higher. There we go. Okay, she has to ignore laser blast. All right, she got to hit once. Can she ignore it? She can. Okay, but now the Zard Beast is going to fight her. So let's see what the Zard Beast rolls. Okay, well that was a terrible roll from the Zard Beast. And it's a tie. However, the Zard Beast will win on ties. Yep. So uh, she's going to take a wound. And that will be the end of the Martian turn. Okay, so heroes now. And we start with Archibald. And Archibald is going to do this thing. I'm in range, really, so I have no problem. And I hit him on a three or higher. Okay, well, I hit two of them. So I take out two two guys here I'm landing there we'll see where I land actually five I land here so I took out two of them 
So that was his turn. Cassidy is going to, well, she's going to move one. We'll roll for a power token. Four. All right, doesn't get one, but she will move one space and get out of that lights out building. Okay, Hannah is going to try to get out of there. She rolls a two. That is not good. One, two. Okay, and Creta has the cabbage. We want to get her going. Let's roll for her power token. No, let's roll for her move. Five. So she's going to move one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Uh, three, four, five. All right. She's going to move there. Be a body block. And that is... That's it for the heroes. Yeah. Okay, so it is the Martian turn. We're at round 10. I'm going to put another lights out on another building. Um, I can get these other. Here we go. I'm going to put one on this one right here. All right, and then um, let's see here. Uh, draw a new Martian card. So let's see what I can draw. Roll a random board section. Five. I can put a landing site marker in any outdoor space. Okay, I will do that. Let's put one. Um, I'm on five. Let's put one right here. It's like bridge the gap. Place on any space adjacent to two or more Martian packs. Play on any space adjacent to two or more Martian packs. Okay, well, I don't have any of that yet. Command phase. All right, I'll take my two, and then let's roll for reinforcements. Uh, don't get it. God. And now we move Martians. So he's moving up. He's moving there. These guys will move. Uh, the Zard Beast is going to move, and they're going to move. They're staying behind the Zard Beast. Okay. So Archibald has got to uh, get rid of a ray attack. And he's going to get hit. Can he dodge it? He cannot. So he's going to take a wound. All right. Uh, and now he's going to have a fight. And he rolls... Oh, that was a terrible roll. And he wins. So he does one wound on the Martian leader. Okay. Um, Cassidy will do a power token. No. Roll for movement. One. Well, that's terrible. So she's only moving one space. And she really can't do anything. Hannah. Let's roll for movement. I'm going to do Hannah one here. And then she's going to do a ranged attack. We're going to do a, a fireball. If she gets a four or higher, she hits him. And she does. So she kills him. And we use a power token to do that. Okay. And then Lucretta. All right. So she's in the same space. Wait a minute. 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 See, I keep getting mixed up. I'm sorry. He did beat the Martian guy. She, he, she has to. That's right. She, she has to ignore a ray gun attack. So let's see. All right, he misses. All right, and then Lucretta has to ignore ray gun attack. She got hit once. Pretty sure she can dodge. She does. Now she has to fight the Zard Beast. The Zard Beast rolls. Okay, there's no way she's gonna win. So she's gonna take one wound. Now it's the hero's turn. All right. <clears throat> so Archibald um, is going to end up fighting the Martian champion. Look at that. That's a real good roll. 
and they're tied. But I'm gonna play this. No, I can't do that. Nah, that's not a Marshall Pack. So they're tied. Cassidy, let's roll for power token. No, let's roll for her movement. Four. All right, it's better. One, two, three, and she'll just stay here for a second. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna try to shoot those two Martians behind her. So, uh, on a four or higher, and she does. Look at that. Bam, bam. Hannah is going to roll for a power token. She doesn't get it, but she's going to use another one to try to kill that Martian in front of her on a roll of four plus, and she doesn't get it. So, all right. And then Lucretta, the cabbage, let's use it. Now, I need a four, five, or six. And I don't get it. All right, so obviously the cabbage doesn't do it. So obviously it is the water that hurts the Martians for some reason. That's Cassidy. And this is what it says if we do. If the third is tried, is automatically as long as a hero with the correct weakness is in this, it may be wounded. Okay. And that is really the end of the turn. And now it is the Martian turn. We're going to nine. There's nothing really I can place. So let me draw two cards. Okay, I have blue lasers. Ooh. Play at the start of a hero turn. Okay. Huh? Blue lasers. Okay. I'm going to, with my command phase, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put five on there. So blue lasers is in effect. And now heroes are minus one. Let me see if I can get some reinforcements. No. Still can't. All right, let's move the Martians. So we're going to move his here. Staying. Moving. Okay. All right, let's do, uh, well, Archibald. All right. He's going to get hit. Now he's minus one. So, but no problem. All right, Cassie, no, nothing's happening to her. Hannah, yes, miss. All right, and Lucretta is fighting the beast. It rolls three, she rolls two. Okay, well, uh, she's dead, she got killed. Yeah. Okay, she died. So she is a casualty of war here. All right. These are all the cards. But she did do test the cabbage. So. Yeah, she did was able to test the cabbage. All right. So now it is the hero turn. All right, we have Archibald. And he's still at the same spot with this guy. So he's going to stay there and fight him, really. He gets two die. And the Martian champion gets two die. And the Martian champion won that fight. So he's going to take a wound. Okay. Actually, I think... The Martian champion, I did, I missed. No, actually, we're not. We're gonna save that. That's gonna be safe for the Zard Beast. Okay, so Archibald is gonna have to hightail it next turn. Cassidy for a power token. Nope, movement. Okay, so she's here. All right. Now, um, she's in the same space, so we can do damage. And uh, to the Zard Beast. So she's going to shoot the guns. We need a four or higher. Okay, two hits. Now, the Zard Beast member, he can still roll to see if he ignores those hits. And he ignores those on a four plus. <laughs> he ignored all. He, he, he got hit with both of them. Okay, so what's going to happen is, is 
he's gonna hit twice. Then I'm gonna play this card right here. It's overkill. Play when a hero does a wound to a Martian. Immediately do one additional to a Martian in the same space. So he has now three wounds on him. Okay. Two more and he's dead. Alright. So there we go. And now Cassidy actually will fight him. She gets two die. Alright. He gets three. Alright, so she's going to take a wound. She got popped. Okay. But we're going to play this Defiance here. I forgot we could do that. And we're going to try to get rid of that Martian tech on a roll of four or higher. And we can't. But luckily, we have another one. And we still failed. So we don't get rid of the Martian tech. Eh. Okay. Hannah's turn. <clears throat> Throw for a power token. Okay. And then, uh, no. Alright. She is going to, now, I th it says, as long as a hero with the correct weakness is in a space, it may be wounded. So she's going to do a range attack on the fireball on him. She needs a four or higher. She got it. Now, remember, he can ignore it. Hey, kid is not. So she does one more wound to him. So that's four wounds. And then she has to give up her boost. And that's that's her turn. So now it is the Martians' turn. So the Martians are on the brink here. Let's go ahead and move this. Okay, we're gonna play at the start of the hero turn. <clears throat> She took a wound. We made Hannah take a wound. So, uh, one more wound and she's dead. So this can go either way. Let's do some Martian cards here. Play to cancel a hero event card. On a roll, or play to instantly choose any card from it and remove it. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and try to cancel Rise to the Challenge event right now. We don't. Uh, we're going to put a Kona Light marker on a random building. <clears throat> and we'll put one on the arcade. Okay. Let's draw. All right. So we drew our new cards. Let's roll for reinforcements. And we're going to get some this time. So we have eight. All right. Command phase. I'll take my two tokens. Move Martians. Okay, the only ones we're moving are these guys. Okay, so, um, <laughs> fire ray guns. Here we go. This is the biggie right here. This is if the Martians can kill her and him, they've won. All right, we'll start with Archibald. And the blue laser thing is in there. So, he's going to roll a die. And he hits. Can Archibald ignore it? Okay, he's going to be minus one. But he still, all he needed was a three or higher. So he passed. Okay. She. Uh, see if she gets hit. She does not. They miss. Okay, now we're doing the fight. And we'll start with her. So she rolls two dice. He rolls one. And she kills that Martian. Okay. Then we start with him. He, the Martian champion rolls two dice. Okay. Archibald rolls two dice. Okay. However, we're going to... Uh, there's nothing we can do. Archibald just got killed. There's nothing he can do. He lost his battle. He took his three wounds. And he's dead. Okay. So that's two heroes dead. One more and the Martians win. Now... The yard, whatever beast, is going to attack. He gets three die. Okay. She's going to get two die. And she, look at that. Devil sixes. So she wounded him. Now, can he ignore the wound? He cannot. He has not been able to ignore not one. And so now, that's five wounds... And the Zard Beast is killed, 
And so the heroes win. All right. I kind of thought they would. It, well, you know what? I kind of thought the Martians would. But we got extremely lucky as the heroes that we got those scenario search cards right at the beginning. Otherwise, I don't think we would have won. To be honest with you, I think we would have got our butts handed to us. Because, uh, you know, huh. uh, one more wound to Hannah and she was dead. Cassidy could have been dead easily. So, there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you next time on Sci-Fi Saturday for our final Invasion from Outer Space playthrough. Until then, have fun.